if we don't prepare people with self-knowledge and, and agency, we're never going to be able to meet the needs of our modern-day economy. Our kids are going to have to work with knowledge that hasn't been discovered yet, on technologies that haven't been invented yet, solving big problems we have not managed to solve. For high school senior Madison Pickett, who throws strikes as easily as she gets straight A's, learning through projects provides lifelong lessons. Life throws you problems that you have to work through. Things don't work. You need to solve them, figure out how they work. The scholar athlete acquired this philosophy on and off the field as part of a unique four-year program. It combines science, technology, engineering, and math, culminating in a senior project. Went in not knowing what engineering was, just knowing that it had something to do with math and science. <laughs> but I was still kind of confused because this is something I'd seen like a garage. Our world is becoming more and more technological, and we're relying on and interacting more and more with technology to do our jobs. What we do need is people that are educated in the way technology works. But unfortunately, not everyone is encouraged to pursue careers in technology. According to a 2014 study, only 3% of female high school students reported any interest in engineering, compared to 31% of their male counterparts. You have all this productivity, all this wealth being created from this information revolution that we're in, but who participates in it? So I think your goal this period and third period is get this thing installed so we can actually... When physics teacher Amir Abu Shahir launched the Dos Pueblos Engineering Academy in his California school, he wanted to address another form of inequality, the gender gap in science and engineering. If when the piston goes down again, I can't have 14-year-old girls and their parents and their families deciding at this age to start shutting doors on these girls' career future. The first thing is just making it accessible. Abu Shahir raises private money for this project-based public school program. He also added art courses and actively recruited female students. Their enrollment jumped from 5 to 50% in four years. It's this whole idea of mirrors rather than windows. You want the, the audience to look at the person they see and see themselves, as opposed to looking through a window and seeing an opportunity that someone else is taking advantage of. We are basically saying we're going to present this so anybody can see themselves do that. With 41 boys and 41 girls, this year's senior class is getting ready for the Maker Faire competition. Their entry? A series of 13 interactive games, each demonstrating a different physics principle. They call it the Physics Arcade. It's going to be more of a touchpad, kind of you get to move it rather than like mm -hmm. clicking something. Madison's team is building a game based on volume, density, and momentum. But not all the parts are working. They're all getting stuck right now. And I think that the acrylic is kind of a different height, so it's getting stuck right there on that white. Normally in a classroom, you get a problem and you just solve it. And normally you're using the equation the teacher already gave you. Whereas here, OK, you have this problem. You can use math, but what equation or what solution do you need to find? Why don't you guys think? I have an easy solution to this. This is my problem. I need this solution. How can I get there mathematically? The problem that you guys both address is that it's barely making it. Mm -hmm. Why is it barely making it? Not enough momentum. Okay, so what's the easy solution? Put it back there here. There you go. In addition to carrying a full load of other core subjects, Academy students must meet all the math and physics requirements of a science and engineering program, and then put that knowledge into practice. Our goal is to basically provide students with an educational experience that satisfies the traditional requirements they would need to graduate in a unique and disruptive way. What I think attaches the kids to it is the fact that they know it's a real thing. There are real stakes. We're going to a competition. 
With the competition just weeks away, time is not on their side. The show must go on. After months of preparation, Madison and her classmates are set to display their physics arcade at Maker Faire in San Mateo, California, even though it's incomplete. We've been in the program for four years, and we've all been waiting for the Maker Faire. Instead of letting audiences play with the games, students will have to explain how the games are intended to work. Because we had the deadline, a bunch of us would skip class to go into engineering um, to work on our project. We all wanted to see where this project would take us. All right, you guys, it's hard to scope a project that finishes at the end of the school year. If we were a company, we could just slip schedule and like release the project a month late. You know, it doesn't matter. We're not. We're a school, and we're all trying to do education here. It's not even about the product. Focus on the process, not on the product. No, I know that one's an extra. It's fine. And you're going to try and get the ball through this red tube into here. Okay, what do I do? Have the ball travel up, come down the ramp. So each of the three shapes have the same uh, and diameter. Yep. And then when you drop them in, you saw that linear relationship. Did you guys make all this? We made everything, every single piece of this. Wow. Cool. Yeah. Today it was crazy to hear people kind of say like this is your high school students i can't you're so mature and you've done all this you're only a senior in high school and we're like yeah like we are <laughs> all this positive feedback made us all realize what we've done and that even though we never finished fully we still have done so much this past year the students from dos pueblos engineering academy did not go home empty-handed they won five awards, including best in class. As one of the best in her class, Madison will embark on a new engineering adventure after graduation. She'll be attending MIT. By solving real life problems rather than just sitting in a classroom. I'm a better problem solver now. But having all this backup in engineering will definitely help me and I'll hopefully have a step ahead. And so there's nine cylinders and you're supposed to find out which one weighs more. Science 